Good day everyone, here's what we wanted to uh, talk about today is the Globe and Mail has this feature every weekend they have this financial facelift and it's where they highlight somebody and they take their income and they take their assets and a financial planner comes in and gives some advice and generally it's good advice. You know what you read in here for the most part it's really good, it talks about reducing your expenses but there's something we want you to think about and what and it's, it's the way we approach these articles is that Perhaps there's another way to look at the articles and to look at somebody's financial situation. And maybe instead of always trying to focus on just reducing their expenses, so when someone's approaching retirement, and that's generally what people in here are talking about, they want to retire and uh, they talk about their income and their retirement income and the kind of life that they, um, they're hoping to live and then they ask a financial planner if they're going to be able to actually live that life. And I guess the way we think about this is maybe um, instead of just taking the advice, uh, the typical advice of reducing your expenses so that when you retire you're going to have a, a slightly less income in most of the cases featured in the Globe and Mail um, and to live your life accordingly by reducing expenses here and there, maybe we can start reading these articles and as Canadians we can start thinking about how do we increase our income and instead of just thinking about reducing our expenses during retirement, why don't we focus on another means to increase our income. So maybe that involves, obviously, you know we're involved in real estate investing, so maybe that involves uh, purchasing cash flow positive uh, property. Or something else, maybe it's starting your own business and how to build an asset and cash flow by starting your own business. Emily, are you laughing over there again? I, it's, Emily's laughing, but she's laughing with me, she said. Um, so we can maybe, maybe there's a, a flip side to this, and instead of reducing expenses, we can focus on um, increasing our income and increasing our asset base instead of just always reducing. And here's something to think about. Our mom uh, recently had her birthday. She turned 64. Nick, did she turn 64? 63 or 64? 64. 64. She's going to kill me for the 64. And legitimately, she might have another 25 years left to live. And she's a pretty active lady. Now, should she just be focused on reducing her expenses and living? you know, the, uh, a, a life based on her income and never do anything else? Or does she have enough time to do anything she wants and increase her income and build the business and get real estate assets that, that uh, pay off for her? Um, something to think about, something for, for you to think about when you're reading these types of reviews in, uh, in the newspapers. That's it for, for today, everyone.